Hello everyone, welcome back. Yeah, uh, it's muddy again. So, uh, all right. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna do. Uh, I've got several videos planned, and we're gonna be talking about uh, the tractor and different implements and uh, hooking them up properly, adjustment adjusting them properly, etc., etc. So, uh, but today we're, we're going to talk strictly about the three point hitch. This is the, uh, new Holland TN 70. And we're going to talk about three point hitch. Now, some of you guys may know this, uh, it may, uh, you may be able to pick up a few things, but, uh, what I'm going to go through here is things that I've learned through the years and, uh, hopefully it'll help you out. But, uh, anyhow, we got a three point hitch. We got our top link, we got a lift arm, we got a lift arm. That is our three points of contact, hence the name three point hitch. Now we have other components as well. We have sway bars, sway chains, and, and these will vary from tractor manufacturer to tractor manufacturer, and we'll talk about that. Uh, we have adjustment of this lift arm. This particular gear mechanism raises and lowers this lift arm system. It'll raise this one arm. On this particular tractor, you also can extend them, pull this pin. These will slide out. So when you back up to hook, it makes it a little easier to hook. Now, and on all our three-point hitch equipment, we've got our top link hook. You know, we've got a Cat 1 and a Category 2. Category 1 is the smaller one. There's a certain weight rating, horsepower rating, rating for that. And then Category 2 is a little bigger. So it's category one here, category two here, and these are category one pins, okay, on this particular turning plow. Uh, let's see, the mowing machine is a cat two, and I'll show you the difference in the size of those. This is a category two pin. It's a bigger diameter, and I believe oh, one's a seven eighths, one's an inch. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember right off the top of my head. But anyhow. So the way this works is you've got holes in your lift arm. These balls are interchangeable. Category two, category one. You slide them on here, put a lynch pin through to hold them. All right. So when you hook up three-point hitch, uh, th there's a process that I like to use. I like to back my tractor up to the implement to where this hole lines up with this pin. See, this arm has no... Uh, vertical adjustment on it okay of course I'm gonna have the sway bars loose so this arm will flip so I hook this pin up then I hook my top link okay I hook my top link and the reason I do that is if that side's unhooked and it needs the implement needs to come forward or backwards I can use my top link to push the plow back or forward to line that one up now if I need any elevation I'll adjust it right here once that is hooked to the tractor, and then it's just hooked. I've got to, uh, I've got to make my adjustments for the implement. Um, depending upon the implement, the adjustments are going to be different, vary from implement to implement. When you are adjusting the implement, uh, you want to adjust it in the working position. It's right now this uh, field cultivator, spring tooth, all-purpose plow. There's a hundred different names for these particular plows. Uh, it's sitting on top of the ground. It's down, but it's not in its working position. When it's working position is when it is at the depth that it's actually gonna be pulled through the field. And uh, in most cases in the equipment, you want it level from front to back. And you do that with this top link. And then you want it leveled from left to right. And you do that with this side lift arm over here in the vertical adjustment you also want it centered with the tractor if his plow or implements are offset what it'll have a tendency to do is try to straighten itself up if the plow is over here it'll have a tendency to pull the back of the tractor over here to try to get back in line and go at an angle so if you're running straight it, it helps makes it easier to pull easier to navigate like i said we're gonna i'm gonna do several on three-point hitch but that's the basics uh this is kind of the first uh there'll be 
multiple videos coming on how to hook different implements up because the I see this a lot with folks uh, using tractors and farm equipment is uh, they don't have the geometry between the tractor and the implement correct and they try to adjust the implement of course on the spring tooth there's no no adjustment uh, but they try to adjust it and it doesn't do uh, the job that it's designed to do so uh, in order for it to work correctly we've got to get this up here correctly now there's going to be ex exceptions on when we uh, when we'll do it a little different uh, there's always exceptions to every rule and we'll talk about some about those too but that's the new holland lift uh, on that that's a 2003 year model tractor we'll walk around here and i'll show you the uh the a little bit of the differences in the uh john deere this is john deere 5205 uh the components are basically the same but you can see on the sway bars it's got chains instead and in the uh lift arms instead of the interchangeable balls it's got bushings that drive in and out uh same with the uh, top link there's a bushing here it's category two and i've got it bushing down to category one the uh vertical adjustment on this side is different as well but it basically you got three points same same track uh, same design it's the same uh, principles behind it but uh that's a little bit about the basics of three point like i said we're going to do quite a bit more on that everything from the mowing machine to sprayers to this plow turning plows which is one of the most critical ones that needs to be adjusted properly and uh, we'll explain to you why and all that good stuff so if you like what we're doing want to see more videos on these things as we go forward please hit the subscribe button little notification bell if you like a video hit that thumbs up uh, if you have a comment or a question please do so and we will talk to you guys later have a good evening